One of my bucket lists uh, all my life has been to come down to South Africa and go on a safari hunt. And what one of the coolest things was is that two of my boys, Tommy and Mikey, were at an event for Take Them Outdoors. It's an organization that takes disabled and terminally ill children uh, out into the trips on, in the outdoors. And so they bid on a, a safari hunt down in South Africa, more specifically at the Numzam uh, Safaris Group. And then we came down for a five day hunt. Now let me first of all say as I do this little video, uh, I'm not uh, sponsored by Numzam. I'm not, uh, you know, I don't get any discounts or anything like that. These are just my observations for a five day hunt. Uh, I, like many outdoor uh, people, just like to come to these places. So I let, thought I'd let you know about South Africa hunting and more specifically the Numzam uh, Safari Group. All right, so one of the first important things I want to talk about when you come to an all new place like this is obviously the staff. Excellent staff here at Numzen uh, Safaris, uh, from the owners, Hanu and Shanna, uh, to our personal hunters or professional hunters, really important guys, uh, Jeff and uh, Nathan. Uh, these are the guys who take us around all day, show us where the animals are, help us find the animals, and most importantly, help us decide if it's a big enough animal to shoot. But they have excellent trackers here uh, to help us find the animals if we do hit them. Uh, they can unbelievably walk through the woods and find the, the trail and the blood or whatever you gotta find. Uh, the skinners, the cooks, everybody. Super professional, super knowledgeable, but most importantly, a lot of fun. Come on in. <laughs> So obviously accommodations are very, very important. Uh, our rooms were very comfortable and obviously very, very clean. You get hot showers and all of that. One of the really neat aspects of this uh, lodge is this big gathering area. It includes a place where we had all of our meals. One of the cool things about the meals we had is they actually fed us the, the meat that came from previous hunter. So we had everything from Elon burgers to sable steaks, uh, water buck, jit gun buck, just an excellent, excellent cook here. Really good food. I was a little worried coming down about my stomach and stuff. Everything was just great and perfect for the food. The other area here is this fireplace area, which just is a great place at night for all the hunters to get together, socialize a little bit, make plans for the next day, and uh, just enjoy the hunting time together. All right, let's talk about the fun part of the trip, and that is the hunting. Now what you hunt down here in South Africa is all private land. I found out that there's very, very little public land. Uh, the only public land there really is is what they call a national forest. And there you can't hunt in there. In a lot of places they don't even allow people in. So what you hunt is big, big chunks of land called concessions. Now these concessions do have a border fence around them, but inside of them what they have is a network of roads uh, to drive around and basically look for the animals. It's kind of a safari situation. Um, these roads probably would take you on the concessions. We hunted a good half a day, maybe a little bit more to drive all of the roads that are inside just one concession. Uh, the cool thing is, is we were down here in March, which in South Africa is their late summer. So we're here right at the beginning of their hunting season. The nice thing is, is that we're here during a time of year when the animals haven't been very pressured yet. So they're a little less weary and I'll, I'll emphasize a little less weary. They are still just, if they hear us or see us, they're gone. They're very fast animals down here. The, the bad thing about coming this early, if there is a bad thing, is, is that the grass is still fairly tall and the, what they call trees down here is kind of brushy trees, have a lot of leaves on them. So it's oftentimes hard to spot the animals. You gotta work a little bit harder at that. So you're gonna drive around on all these roads in a really cool truck set up to be almost a, a mobile platform, a mobile uh, a shooting station. If you can get a shot off the truck, you do. Otherwise, we'll hop out a lot of times, try and cut the distance to the animals and get the shot done. So this is one of the vehicles that we actually go out on the hunt in. Typically, there's two hunters in here, and one a professional hunter. So you see, you got real nice seats to sit in. Professional hunter sits behind, trying to spot the animals. I actually spent a lot of time just standing up, leaning up against the top here, because I've got a nice shooting area if we do happen to see a, an animal that's fairly close to the truck. But again, like I said, a lot of times we'll spot them in the distance and then have to make up some ground to get close to them. Most of our shots, I would say, were anywhere from about 50 all the way out to about 200 feet, 200 yards. So uh, fairly close range, but some of those 200 yard shots were a little bit tricky. Now, one of the nice things too about those professional hunters, besides just helping you spot the animals, 
and, and you know decide if it's a nice mature animal that you should be uh, shooting is that they actually take the time to teach you how to hunt in South Africa. And the main big difference there is is where to shoot the animal. It's slightly different than say our whitetail uh, deer. It's much more forward up on the shoulders where their vitals are. Uh, they say it's because of the way that the animals actually migrate, so their organs are actually different. But this was a cool situation to uh, hunt in. It really was safari-like in that you're just driving around looking for animals, looking for something good to shoot, and hopefully getting a good shot. So the other cool thing that we had is as you're driving around, you see a lot of animals that you aren't even targeting. For example, we saw sable, elon, uh, hartebeest, wildebeest, warthogs, <laughs> see monkeys, uh, uh, sable, springbuck, uh, bushbuck, uh, ostriches, and we even saw things like zebras and giraffes. So it's more than just the hunt here, it is truly the whole experience that's great. So most of the species that we were after, the you know the things like the gemsbok, the impala, the blessbok, they're very weary animals. And I was talking to our PH, our professional hunter, and he was saying a lot of times what you've got is basically a five count. Uh, you're gonna see that animal, you've got, you gotta get your gun up while he quickly tries to identify if it's a nice mature animal, one that can be shot. And then you've got several seconds, two or three more counts before that animal is probably gonna start to move. So they're very, very weary here. And so it took a little bit getting used to, just being always ready to kind of make the shot uh, as the situation uh, happened. I do want to thank our PHs though. Uh, you know, you come down here, you're going to be paying by the animal down here. Whatever you decide to shoot, you kind of have a shot list. And they could basically let you shoot very quickly. There's plenty of animals down here, but they took the time to make sure you're not only shooting just an animal, but you're shooting a nice mature one, maybe even a trophy one for, for South Africa. And so it takes you from, you know, going home with just a bunch of animals to going back with a bunch of personal trophies. So one of the things I want to talk about when you're hunting down here is, like I said, we have typically come in on a shot list. You can go down and just kind of pick the animals, look at pictures online and pick the animals you want. But hunting down here in what they call the bush, uh, you kind of got to give what it takes you. And what I mean by that is it's kind of like when I go out fishing in the Gulf of Mexico. A lot of days I'm going to go out amberjack fishing. But heck, I run into a school of nice snappers. We're going to take the snappers. I'm going to go grouper fishing, but all of a sudden we get a shark on, we're going to obviously catch a shark. Same thing down here. I had a shot list. Uh, the first animal I actually shot was called a Niala. And the reason I shot is because is we saw it in the bush. It was a good shot and it's just a beautiful, beautiful animal. I had seen it online already, the twisted horns and things like that. So when you come down here, be a little bit flexible. Yeah, I have your shot list, kind of know what you want to have. But if the bush offers something, you might want to take it up on it. So hunting in Africa has always been on my bucket list. And yeah, things were a little bit different than I pictured getting down here, but it far exceeded my expectations. From the staff to the accommodations, our professional hunters were great. The hunt was great. It was just an all around great time. So if you're looking to put a big check mark on your bucket list coming down here to Africa to hunt, I highly recommend the Noomzan Safari Group. They were just excellent.